Hello folks, I've got a fuel pump here. This one happens to be a Carter rotary vane fuel pump uh, for your carbureted applications. Um, typically when you're choosing a fuel pump for your carbureted vehicle, you'll see a lot of times recommended the faucet style fuel pump, which has a piston that shakes back and forth uh, with a check valve in each side, and that's how the, the fuel gets pumped through the system. However, I've got this, which is a Carter rotary vane pump, and it works a little bit differently. It, it actually has a, uh, a rotor inside there, and as it spins, centrifugal force pulls the, the rotors out against the eccentric housing inside there, and that's what pumps fluid through the system. And uh, these are nice because they are a little bit more reliable, I'd say, and also a little bit quieter. They do still make a little bit of noise, and for that they come with these uh, little rubber bushings that, that they mount to the bracket with like so, um, but they, they do make less noise than the faucet pumps, and actually they do, you can buy a separate uh, rubber mounting kit for these that not only makes the pump itself sort of floating on rubber bushings, but also makes the mount floating on rubber bushings to uh, just damp out a little bit of vibration with that. The other cool thing about these pumps is they deliver exactly the sort of fuel pressure and fuel flow that Weber carburetors need. Uh, so Weber carburetors require a low pressure and high flow rate. They only require a couple PSI and for that reason a lot of pumps will overwhelm your carburetor. However, this one only supplies a couple PSI and you typically don't need a fuel pressure regulator when using this style of pump. I would recommend just using the uh, original uh, return line from your carburetor if your car has one or adding one by fitting a T to your fuel supply to the carburetor. Let's go ahead and see what the rotor vane setup looks like inside one of these pumps. So with this top removed you can see that there's this rubber gasket on the top which seals the lid. You can also see there's this filter screen right here. The inputs on this side, so that's a pre-filter to make sure the fuel is nice and clean before it reaches the pump. With that lid removed you can see the rotor here. This whole thing spins and it's got these loose veins that fit into these slots in the rotor. And as the pump spins, those veins are pulled out to the edge of, to the walls of this, this, um, this circular housing. And you can see the rotor is offset. Um, so it spins this way. And at this stage of the pump, it, f it draws in fuel from the input. And over here, it pushes it out that way towards the output. Like I mentioned before, these veins are just loose in that housing and they fit in those slots. And that's how a rotary fuel pump works. Uh, if you're looking for a new fuel pump for your carbureted Alfa Romeo or Fiat or, or anything that uses a Weber carburetor like that, uh, consider buying one of these Carter rotary units. I know for Fiat, they are actually the OEM recommended replacement pump to replace the, uh, the original, I believe it was the BSD uh, electronic fuel pumps, which are also a rotary design. So this is exactly what you need for your car.
This pump is available on my website. I'll put a link in the in the description.